What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm at the Boston Fan Expo. I'm gonna be here for two days. I'll be showing you guys around. I'm gonna be showing you guys some Funkos. I'll show you guys some expensive Funkos. Then I'll show you on the cheap side. Join me, we're gonna go find how much these Funkos could go for. We're also gonna take pictures with some celebrities. Let's get it. The creator of Danny Phantom is here and I'm gonna go see if I could get a signature by him and uh, you know, just talk to him. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the event. It's really cool, everybody's dressed up, so. All right, so let's go look for Butch Hartman and get this sick sign. All right, Butch. Where are you? So this is where the artists are stationed where you could get signatures. <laughs> so people are just lining up to uh, get a signature. So hey, there he is, the man, Butch Hartman. I'm gonna stand in line and uh, get a signature from him. So stay tuned, see you guys in a bit. The voices of Pinky and the Brain, if you guys remember Pinky and the Brain. So I'm with the man himself, Butch Hartman. I'm only one man, I'm only one of many men, yes man. How <laughs> the you doing? one what, from what, is your, what is your name number? Well, oh, my name is Sergio. Hey Sergio, nice, yeah, to, nice meet to meet you. Nice to meet you. What are we doing on the camera here? Are we saying something um, funny? Should we say something funny on camera? What, what is funny? What do you, what do you, what, what's your favorite show, Fairly Odd Parents or Danny Phantom? Ah, that's a tough one. Ah. Because I grew up watching Fairly Odd Parents, and then Danny Phantom came out after. Did you like Danny Phantom? I love both of them. Oh, cool. You got a favorite so, character? Okay, go ahead. You ask me. I remember when you were promoting Dan, uh, Fairly Odd Parents. Yes. And you were, it was, it was like a commercial, and you were talking about your show that was going to come up. Yes. And you were like, oh, hey, I got the show coming up. It's really cool. And your head starts changing. My head was changing, yeah. It was I an remember animated, that. animated commercial. Yeah, like you that. had a good memory. That's <laughs> right, a long time ago. Thank you. Uh, so where do you live? Are you from Boston? Yeah, I'm from Boston. Yeah, nice. Close well, by. I'm glad to be on your show. I got this one. That's oh, not perfect, signed. Man, let's make it happen. Yeah. Um, let me take it out of the box. Camera. Yeah, yeah we, we got double cameras going. Oh, no. Take it out, eh? Nice. Let's dump that out. Nice to meet you. Buddy. And don't want to watch that. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Well, yeah, uh, they both have their merits, that's for uh, sure. But yeah, if you could uh, yeah, just keep telling people about the garden, it's a new Christian thing. Yeah, I, yeah I, I checked it out, it was really good. It's We're awesome. We're excited about it, yeah. Is that good for you right awesome. there? Yeah. All right, man, there you go. Let's put that back in there. You. Whammo. I'll also get a picture. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I, I got you, picture. bro. I, was just I got you taking a picture, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kill our suit. Uh, kill. I'll be right back. <laughs> Ah, I got a sign. He was so cool. Um, that was awesome. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm going home. That's it. That's the Fan Expo. Master Roshi. What's up? Um, yeah, I mean... You know what? I'll keep walking around. Show a little bit of the event. So I'm with the creator. <laughs> Of well, courage, one of the, one of the creators. <laughs> well, he's here. Doesn't matter. Of, of courage, the cowardly dog. There we go. So much nostalgia today because I met Butch Harmon. Now meeting you, I was so surprised. I was just walking by and I, I saw my old, the old favorite cartoons. Oh, oh cool! Oh, Thank you. I got the the drawing with oh, Courage oops. and SpongeBob, two <laughs> OGs, and with the signatures. So I'm so excited. <laughs> thank awesome. you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank nice to meet you too. Did you draw these art? I did, yeah. Oh, you did? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I got a couple over there that I couldn't fit on the table. Too. <laughs> you know, <laughs> oh, like, I, like people are saying, like, oh, you got two tables. How do you not have room for everything? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> you know? Um, <laughs> a couple that are over here that I just didn't, you know, put up on the table though. I'll definitely grab a courage, but I just don't know which one to okay. grab. Yeah, yeah. I like this one so far. Yeah, I don't. I think I have that one out. Oh, here. do you? I don't think I do. I'll put that up here. This one was a creepy episode. I, I worked on that one. Did you? I, did, yep. <laughs> this I, one, I feel like everybody was scared of. Uh, if you remember this episode. Return the slab or suffer my curse. <laughs> I, I felt like you didn't even have to tell me which one I knew. Exactly yep. Because <laughs> I, like, I like when he freaks out and, and does yeah. that. Ah! <laughs> I 
Uh, I'm meeting all the, the my childhood artists. This is why my wife can't leave me alone. It's all right. Let me let me leave before I start buying more stuff. Cause oh my gosh, that's so cool. My Butch Hartman, the creator of Fairly Odd Parents, and Courage the Cowardly Dog. What? Two of the best shows ever. Man. Those were my childhood. Uh, I'm gonna go look for my family now. Let's go see if my family's still here. And they are. What are you guys dressed as? What are you doing? You're a superhero? You're a superhero? Oh, look at this. Ooh. Five Nights of Freddy. Yeah, look at those outfits. All right, so I found some Funkos, and we're gonna see. We're gonna see if they're expensive. Mm, they're all twenty dollars. They're not crazy. Let's see, twenty-five, twenty-five. Oh. On 65, 20, 20, 45. I don't have anything crazy. 20, 20, 20, 30. 165 so far, the most I've seen. Those are baby numbers. We'll get those numbers up. Three for 30. That's not that bad. Oh, that's a big wall over there. The Funkos. Let's go see that. What's that? All pops on this table. Six each. Or four for 20. That's actually not bad deal, six dollars. That's probably the cheapest ones I've seen so far. But we're looking for the, oh my God, why would you ever pay so much money for that? That's what we're looking for. Oh, they got the good ones. In the case, all right, all right, here we go. What did I say? 800, 900? $900 so far. That's one of, the, it's Hello Kitty. Oh, found another one that beat, that just beat that one. $1,850 for that Funko. That one, almost $2,000. I'm like going towards the back of the, the stand. I don't, even know, I don't even know if I could, could even be back there. Yeah, I think these are all like 20, 15, $50. Yeah, that $1,850, that's, I think that's so far a winner. Oh, we got some more Funkos here. Those are custom. Sometimes those are priced a little bit more um, because the artist takes their time to, you know, to draw it out and to make something out of it. But 1850, we got to beat 1850. What's your most expensive Funko? Most expensive is my Golden Freezer right now. Oh, that's up front. Yeah. Okay, I saw yep. that one. Yeah. Yep. That's the most expensive All right. so far. Sailor Moon. Ah. I guess 1850 is the most expensive one that I see here. So. Okay, my kids are hungry. I gotta go. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Say bye. 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 I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. <laughs> I was wondering where the music was coming from. <laughs>